We're now going to have a look at the calcaneal fibular ligaments and with any ligament that you're scanning around the ankle region it's important to know where the uh, skeletal landmarks are because you're going to see the hypoechoic appearances of those on ultrasound that tell you where the ligament goes from and to. Now with the calcaneal fibular ligament we know that it goes from the tip of the distal aspect of the fibula, the lateral malleolus, down towards the calcaneus and it almost sits in a straight line at this point with the perineal tendons coming round. Uh, we're looking at almost placing our probe exactly in a line towards the apex uh, of the calcaneus or of the heel. If we have a little look with our ultrasound probe, I often look at the calcaneal fibular ligament in this position, not in prone. And part of the reason for that is that I feel that I can actually then dynamically evaluate this ligament more effectively. Bringing in dynamic evaluation of ligaments certainly helps your diagnostic ability and your ability to make a conclusion. So if I bring my probe now down around the side of the ankle joint here, we see the two perineal tendons, so longus and brevis, and the remaining aspect of the brevis muscle coming into longus here. And then we very quickly see a very large structure like a hammock deep to those tendons. We can see the calcaneal fibular ligament coming through here from the fibula on the left of the image to attach onto the calcaneus, which is here. And the beauty of this position is that I can dynamically evaluate this ligament. It's always very difficult to see the fibula origin because of the steep angulation of fibres and you can see that it's darker here and that's often the effect of anisotropy affecting my ability to see those fibres thoroughly. But I can tell whether it's intact through dynamic evaluation if I gently just tailor tilt or adduct the rear foot you can see that I can just tilt the ankle and tighten up the calcaneal fibular ligament very, very nicely there, and my perineal tendons just bounce on top of it, similar to a hammock. It's not a large movement, it's a very small movement with my other hand just to tension up the calcaneal fibular ligament. Going back to what I said about the landmark, you can see that if I get onto the CFL, which is here, it's almost directly a line straight down towards the apex of the heel. And that's just a useful surface marking for that ligament. So perineal tendons run down around the corner and there you should find your CFL underneath them if it's intact.